I hope everybody had a good E3 week. So I can't hope to cover as much as other sites like Polaris or The Note, but I would still like to discuss my thoughts. Though I'm unsure if they're different from the other thoughts that you've heard from other people. Um, finally, The Last Guardian is coming. I'm. It looks really good. Uh, not top graphics, but I'm still really happy and, it's, and it looks amazing. Uh, let's see what else. Um, oh, and finally more Kingdom Hearts stuff. It looks so gorgeous, and I just really hope that it actually plays like how it looks. Because there's still no release date on it, so they have plenty of time to change it and make it look nothing like it actually looks in the um, footage that they've shown us. And, oh my god, Cup Cuphead. Cuphead looks so cool. I don't know why people haven't done old-timey cartoon type games before like this uh just because of the style i want to buy it i usually don't even like bullet hell platformer games but um i'm definitely gonna give this one a shot it looks really cool uh and plus oh horizon looks fucking cool too nature meeting technology and a female main character uh and hey forza and fifa am i right i'm just kidding i don't give a shit about those games uh, and the game Hellblade looks really intriguing. I learned from Polaris that it's actually about mental illness. Um, what's sad though is that I did mistake in it for Horizon when I first saw it, um, but uh, it's an amazing example of how I think if done right, this game can be teaching a lot of people about empathy for people with mental illness. Um, you know, it, it seems from from um, the dev blogs that they're really trying to be accurate about um, portraying dementia and related illnesses like that. Uh, there seems to be more female characters, which I'm all about playing. Emily from Dishonored, especially, and um, Eve Evie from uh, Assassin's Creed. I'll definitely want to be playing them. Uh, I'm really rooting for those games because I want them to do well, so that way, you know, people won't be like, oh, well, I guess, you know, female characters in games don't work, might as well not do it anymore. Uh, so, yeah. I, plus, for me personally, I love playing female characters. Uh, all in all, the quality of E... Th this this level of quality and, 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 like, good excitement from E3 is long overdue. Though I'm really happy about the games coming soon, I hope people won't forget that it, that it has been a long time since a good E3, and I don't think that's necessarily okay. Um, I doubt this will happen, but I think Sony and Microsoft should have started working with game devs a lot earlier so if it took them two years, I think, after a console's release for, our, for, for substantial original IPs to be announced. I've been looking to indies for the past two years, no joke. Uh, since E3 was, like, last E3 was mainly a bunch of remakes and, and sequels for the most part, and I'm wondering if anybody at either company has learned that games make the consoles, not the specs. You know, I, I really don't count as a new, as the new consoles, like the announcements of the Xbox One and the PS4 to be ex necessarily exciting, because if there are no games, then obviously I'm not going to buy it. Like, I... I didn't like it, but I had literally no reason to get an Xbox One or a PS4 um, for ever ever since it came out until now. Um, I'm definitely um, planning on maybe buying one soon when the games come out, but right now I, I still don't really want to buy one, and I don't think that's okay. You know, I, I wanted to buy it, but I had no reason to, and I think that's, that's very sad. Uh, but anyways... Um, let me know your thoughts on E3. What games are you excited about? Um, there were so many other games that I wanted to talk about, but I just wanted to give an overall, um, go give my overall feelings on E3. So thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye!